The situation in Manipur continues to be on the boil with the government of the state issuing shoot at site orders on May 4. The Home Department issued an order stating that the governor was authorizing all district magistrates to issue shoot at site orders in extreme cases where all forms of persuasion, warning, reasonable force, etc. had been exhausted under provisions of law under CRPC 1973 and situation could not be controlled. Several people, the exact number is still unknown, have reportedly lost their lives after violence erupted from yesterday's rally that was organized by the ATSUM and counter blockade organized by value-based organizations. Six persons said to have been injured during the violence in Manipur are confirmed to have been shifted to Nagaland. They are said to have been admitted to the ICU at Oking Hospital in Kohima. Paramilitary forces and rapid action forces have already arrived in the state. The report from Ground Zero is that the state police are struggling to cope with the situation as they are lacking in manpower. When Hornbill TV reached Ground Zero at Kang Wai, which is approximately 52 kilometers away from Imphal, where violence first broke out yesterday, several houses gutted by fire can be seen. People fleeing bordering areas are living at relief camps set up in Moirang. Government figures say that 4,000 people have so far been displaced and rendered homeless. Several people are said to be trapped in the sensitive areas. Chief Minister Nbiran Singh was about to make a press statement in the noon. However, Naga MLAs, led by Minister Awangpo Nyomai, appeared before the press as a representative of the government and appealed to the people to maintain peace in the state. It is a very uh, few numbers of uh, security personnel. But you see, it's a, it's a move, it's a, it's a violent, it is a, I mean, a class between the communities. So, uh, in the hour, I mean, within few hours, these demolitions, destroying the houses, killing uh, many people, each other, it is, I mean, you see, so how much of have, uh, have died, we don't know. How much of houses were burned down, we don't know. That's why this sending the central paramilitary forces uh, in the late hour, there will be no meaning. Okay. So I think this immediate requirement will be there as we, as we see the situation. This you see around the governor's bungalow and the minister's bungalow, the smoke is coming up so, uh, in the sky. It is within a very uh, very sensitive area within a very zero kilometer the situation is very alarming this is a very words and cheer in the this very sensitive area how can you see you just imagine it in the remote area where the cookie and the maite is situated there you see there's a lot of uh, this uh, problem will be i think will be there so that's why we are uh, I mean, approaching to the Honorable Governor to intervene immediately, whatever it is. We are Thambiro Adum Tawla Ta Atu Gumbege Amata Political Maile is Lau Nana Ba Khoi Tau Zabana Tiyay Na I have already explained to you, we have already sent last message to the Honorable Prime Minister and Honorable Home Minister. Also, the same copy was endorsed to Her Excellency, the Governor of Manipur, who is Representative President of Supreme Commander of India. So we request her immediately intervene, please help us for enable us to bring complete peace here in Manipur. Only this much we met her. Right now we are here at Torbung. This is this is the actual ground zero from where the violence erupted yesterday after a Chum coal, uh, coal rally of all tribal uh, and the, the, the massive response was you know received by this uh, rally being called by the uh, Achum and uh, huge uh, you know uh, trout turn, turn up and this crowd you know turned into violence. This is Mubasi Razi reporting Bohonbi TV from the grounds.